Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So I don't normally go into the dynamics of coaching or try and promote coaching in any way during these particular episodes, but um, I always believe that you need to walk your own talk. And I think the saying goes, doctor heal thyself or something like that. Um, so I try to make it a practice over the years to team up with um, other coaches that I admire and really like um, so that we can swap coaching, partly because it helps me to grow as a person um, and partly because it helps to keep me accountable. And this is one of the reasons that I wanted to share this with you is to do with the accountability part of it. So I've been coaching with a colleague recently, we swap and share. So I coach him one week and a couple of weeks later, he coaches me and so on and so forth. And I had a session with him on Monday and one of the things that came up, um, well, actually the session was very simple. I kind of knew what I wanted out of the session. I wanted a to-do list, which is very basic really in, in regards to coaching. But the reason I wanted it is because I know that in a month's time, I'm going to meet with him again and he's going to ask me what I've achieved from the list of things I've committed to. And it makes a huge difference when you know that somebody is going to be checking in on you. Now, just as a little caveat here, this is not all that coaching is, is to make to-do lists. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest, when I have too many coaching sessions that are about to-do lists, I find it very boring. I like to really dive in deep with a client um, and help them to process things and to shift themselves and to transform. But at its most basic for me, and I'm not saying that this is um, typical of coaching, but to-do lists are something that's quite simple. And it's important when you create one of these to-do lists to have a what by when, to know exactly what you're committing to achieving and by when you're going to commit to achieving it. And I've spoken in the past about integrity, and I'll see if I can put a link to that in the show notes below. But what I'm focusing on, on here in this episode is really about the accountability and how it helps well, me definitely to do what I say I'm going to do when I know that I'm going to be checking in on someone, when I've actually sat down and made a commitment in time and space to get something done, a certain amount of something done by a certain time. I know that when I've done that and I've done it to somebody, me as a person, <laughs> will do everything I can to achieve that. I do make commitments to myself and I do try very hard to make sure that I can keep those because I know that keeping my word to myself as well as to others increases my own self-belief in myself and it helps shift me into alignment with, with source, with the universe, with God, whatever you want to call it. So accountability is a tool. It's something to help keep you on track and keep you achieving what it is that you want to achieve. Now, coaching is the most amazing way to have this accountability in your life. But if you can't afford coaching or you don't want to go into that space, then you can do it with a friend. You can arrange to meet every week, every two weeks, or once a month to commit to certain things and hold each other accountable to those certain things. Um, and it can be a massive help in life. And it's not just in work life. It can be in your private life, things that you want to achieve, fitness goals, health goals, anything that you want to achieve in life. To have that somebody there with you in your corner, cheering you on and holding you accountable can be a massive, massive help in doing what you want to do in life. I hope this has helped. I hope it's given you some ideas and I hope it helps you to live the life you dream of. Um, if you want to coach with me, if this has inspired you, then you can find my details and my contacts below in the show notes, along with my online courses and anything else that I've spoken about in this episode. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.